Ask almost anyone in Northeast Ohio and they'll let you know if you're looking for diversity, look no further than Shaker Heights. But even a city that spent decades achieving diversity still has its challenges. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley found out teachers and administrators are figuring out how to create a better land for all Shaker Heights students. We did scene three. Brittany Webb is a math teacher at Woodbury Elementary School. Every Tuesday after school, she pushes students beyond expectations. There you go. Good job. Giving fifth grade boys sixth grade math material. I'm just pushing and I'll push and push and push the entire school year. They're part of the Rising Stars Enrichment Program she runs after school. Okay. She started it four years ago because she recognized a problem in Shaker's advanced courses, one that students notice too. And I see white people who I don't think are ready for them, but then I go to my honors class, I see African American, I'm like, why is he not in my advanced placement class? Like he is leaps and bounds ahead of these other students. Senior Eli Meinhardt believes long-standing bias plays a role. The Shaker Heights school superintendent told News 5 there are structural practices at play, starting at an early age that keep kids separate. It's a problem happening in schools across the country, one that Shaker is trying to address. If I'm a black student sitting in a core class and I'm looking around and I know that there are white students in this school, but everybody who's in here with me is black. What is that? What is that message? Erica Merritt was brought on as an equity partner to try and help the district close its achievement gap. I want to hear about their experiences. I want to hear what they want the adults to know. The district says it has roughly the same number of black students and white students. All right, great. But black or multiracial students only make up 15 to 20 percent of AP classes, while white students account for 70 to 75 percent. It makes me, you know, hold my head up a little bit higher and have more pride. Aon Day Joseph says he's the only black student in his advanced pre-calculus class and one of three black students in AP biology. It's pretty desolate, so I have to, you know, learn to have my self-confidence and be my own support. Awesome. This so, Rising Stars tutor has been in advanced classes since the sixth grade. Okay. He tries to stay optimistic about the lack of faces he sees that are like his. It can get draining, mentally draining sometimes, but it's good because it helps build character and helps you be more resilient and strong. For a bright young black male awesome. like so, Ayande, failure Identify. isn't an option. Right now it's just expected of me. I mean, I've been through this for the last five years or so, ever since sixth grade coming to this advanced class. So it's just what I do now. Webb understands that pressure. Yeah. She's the mother of three black boys, well, yeah, ages 15, 10, and 9. It's a special place in my heart. Like I, this population is so near and dear to me. I, I have to do, I want to do, I'm compelled to do something. When she talks about her work, awesome. it's hard not to feel inspired. Wow. How society is looking at these men and these boys and are threatened by them, but I see a child. Webb sees opportunity. <laughs> if I could do my part in excelling these kids and and just showing the world how amazing they are i really feel like it gives others an opportunity to see african-american males in a different light her inaugural class of rising stars from the 2016 2017 school year are all in advanced math classes at shaker middle school now the program is such a success the middle school is starting its own chapter. There we go. And right. for students like Ayande, who yourself. knows the work he's doing right now will mean a more diverse AP classroom in the future. Where to put the decimal? Well, they're learning a lot more than math. It makes me feel like I'm helping to change the world. Frank Wiley, <laughs> News 5.